So I thought that we would do something a little bit different. Well, different for me, anyway. I've never done this before, but I reckon I could make it pretty funky. Yep, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm going to use some of this stuff, which is alginate molding powder. And I thought that I would do some kind of funky looking weird hand using these. Oh yes, more pencils. Yeah, baby, yeah. Come on, it's gonna look pretty crazy. So the idea is that I'm gonna mix up some of this alginate. I'm gonna plaster cast my hand and arm well, a little bit of my arm, maybe more of my wrist, um, like this kind of thing. Uh, and then the idea is I'm gonna fill it up with resin and pencils. See if we can make some kind of arty, kind of farty piece. Whoa! What is going on with my hair? You'll have to excuse me, I haven't managed to get out to get my beard trimmed or my hair cut, because I'm stuck in my workshop. Just like we all are. So, we may as well make some stuff. Right? So I might mess this all up. I've no idea yet. But we're about to find out. Follow me. So this is the alginate stuff. Um, no idea how to do it, but I've got some instructions here. Um, and I shall need to mix up some water, mix up some of this. And then we don't have a lot of time on this. It's like a couple of minutes uh, mixing time. And then it literally sets pretty much a couple of minutes after that. So without further ado, let's do this. So my hand is pretty well, well and truly stuck in this mould. I made a little mess, but it is my first go. Now I've got to get my hand out. It's stuck. It's like giving birth to my hand. So there is our mould. I don't know if you can see that in there or not. So there we go. <laughs> you just see my fingers in there. <laughs> so the idea now is to fill this with resin um, and pencils, if I can. Although, I'm not sure if it's too wet in there to do that. It is quite damp. So I just need to dry this out a bit, really, in here. Okay, so I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. 
I've no idea how it's going to turn out, even if it is going to turn out the way I was thinking. <laughs> well, so if it's a failure, I'll show you still anyway, but let's hope it isn't because I really would like to see how this is going to come out. Right, into the pressure pot, she goes. <laughs> Right, are we ready? Oh. Oh. Right, so I'm unsure as to how this is gonna turn out because this mold was obviously quite damp uh, when we put the resin in. I'm just not too sure whether or not it sealed itself. Oh, I just don't know, I'm so worried. <laughs> But if it's a failure, then, well, I'll show you anyway, uh, and then it will teach us the lesson for next time. So, right, let's open this bad boy up. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to get in here. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to smash this or cut it open because, well, because I've added this in now. There's no way of me really sort of whacking it to try and get it out, and it's not really coming out very easily. It is very damp, though, which I'm a bit worried about. See, it's still really, really damp. I don't want to open it. I don't want to open it. Right, wish me luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> I might be lucky. I'll be so careful. Oh, it's so, it's really damp and wet. <laughs> Whoa! Actually, you know what? This! It's not turned out the way that I kind of imagined it, but <laughs> that is pretty awesome. And it's kind of a bit like kind of like a robotic kind of hand. It's like the Terminator's hand. <laughs> right, I haven't finished this yet, but I will. So I've just given this hand a good rubbing down. Now I think I'm gonna coat it with some more resin just to give it that extra shine. And then I might make some kind of base for it. But I don't know what wood to use. Um, hmm. We'll figure it out. I think I'm gonna call this one Zometi's hand. Because, well, it's my hand. Thank you. 
is pretty fungadelic. Blue steel. <laughs> I reckon that turned out pretty awesome. Now, as you know, I don't normally blow my own trumpet in here. Why doesn't it work? <laughs> it used to work. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I like it! Now it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to, but actually, I think that this turned out better. Look! Now kind of, you get the idea where I sort of snapped off. So I snapped off my arm, made of pencils, um, and that was what the snapping of the pencils were about. I guess you kind of knew that already. Um, and the way that's all been put together, I think, actually worked out quite well. Although the resin didn't form around there, and I kind of was expecting it to form all the way up to there, but it didn't. But actually, I think it turned out okay, because it's kind of like, well, it's a bit like the Terminator, isn't it, again? Like I said earlier, la 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 Like I said earlier, um, you know, where obviously he's got his kind of hand coming up. So, yeah, look, there's the back. Now, I use the CNC again, um, I'd probably, I'm getting used to using the CNC, I probably wouldn't have gone as deep as that, and as thick with the, with the um, letters, um, but now I know the settings, I kind of can adjust that a bit more, and probably would have had that a little bit less depth. So for you CNC gurus out there, I know there was a slight mistake there. I mean, it still looks all right, um, but I think, you know, had I do it again, um, I will make them a bit smaller. Got my number 20 in there. Oh, ho! So, uh, yeah, there it is. There it is, folks. I actually think that looks quite nice. Piece of oak, which I got from B&Q. Uh, this is just a bit of shelving. And I just cut it up, stuck it on the CNC. Use some brass bars in there to get the hand sticking up. So that looks kind of cool. I like that. Oh, there is a lot of trumpet blowing going on tonight. <laughs> but I do like it, actually. I, I really think that it's quite a nice piece. And, you know, some of the pieces I make are all okay, I think. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. You know, and, you know, I'll tell you. You know, if I like it or if I don't like it, you might hate this. But some of you might love it. But there it is, folks. Zometi's hand. Because it's mine. Kind of. Anyway, folks, I will love you and leave you. Have a fantastic weekend if I put this up on Friday. I just want to say thank you to all of you for all of your support and supporting me, this channel, and helping me get to where I am today. Because without you, I wouldn't be here. Well, actually, without my mum and my dad, I wouldn't be here. But you know what I mean. Please check out all my links below. Uh, I have a Patreon if you want to support me on there, where I get my resin from, my music. And if you use the links below, it really does help support the channel. And one last thing, if you could share this video amongst your friends and get them to share it as well, let's get this bad boy traveling the world. Again, check out all my links below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm all over that. Take care, have a fab weekend, and I'll see you soon. Toodle. Pip.